Welcome in this tutorial in which we are going to handle the connection and the calculation of an inode 3 or an inode 4. Once the inode was correctly wired, launch the inode view software, a first window appears, she allows you to choose among three modes. Inode configuration to set inode parameters, inode network monitoring to read rate on the network of inode, or finally the mode graphical analysis. We are going to select the mode Inode Configuration. To connect you, several solutions are possible. If you already know the baud rate and the address of the inode, you can directly fill the box Address, choose the baud rate and click on Connection. You can also start an automatic detection, which will allow you to look for an inode if you don't know its address and its baud rate. However, be careful at the starting address, because inode view scans only 16 addresses at the same time. Once the automatic detection is done, a green LED appears next to the address on which the inode was found. You just have to click on this green LED and the parameters of communication are updated. Then click on the Connect button. You have now access to the settings page of the inode. First of all, before beginning the configuration, we advise you to click on the Measure tab. Then click on Start to verify that your measurement system is OK. After this check, you can return to the tab Settings or Calibration to set up your inode. Before beginning the calibration, it is necessary to set the max capacity of your scale. For example, in my case, I set this value to 3000 because my scale will never weigh more than 3 kilograms. Once this parameter has been modified, the LED situated under the box becomes red. You just have to click on Send. This parameter is taken in account by the inode and the LED goes back to green. We are now going to realize a physical calibration. This calibration depends on several parameters, the number of segments to be calibrated and especially the load of these segments. Here I'm going to make a calibration with a single, a single segment with one load of 2 kg. I click on Start to send the calibration, and the calibration window appears. The soft asks you to confirm this new calibration. Warning, the former calibration will be crushed by the new one. The soft asks you to verify that there is no weight on the scale. That signifies that we are ready. Once this check done, click on OK. The zero is taken. The soft asks you to put the calibration loan defined previously. When this is made, you can click on OK. The inode acquires the second point of the segment. As soon as the calibration is ended, the window shows this indication in green. You can close the window and go to the Measure tab to verify that the calibration was well taken in account. For my example, I made the calibration with two weights of 1 kg. I remove one and the second to check the zero. Inode view also allows you to realize calibrations in several segments, either two or three segments. We are going to realize, for the example, a calibration with two segments. My first segment between 0 and 1000 grams, and my second segment will be taken between 1000 grams and 2000 grams. The procedure remains the same. You just have to click on Send to start calibration. To start the procedure, confirm and verify that there is no load on the scale. When it's done, click on OK. The inode takes the zero. I am now going to put my first load of 1000 gram to realize 
the first segment. I confirm and the node acquires the first segment. When this ended, the interface asks me to put the second weight. I confirm immediately. The calibration is now ended. I close the window and I am going to check my calibration in the measure tab. I have well 2000 grams. I put off one, then the second to verify my zero. The calibration is correct.